Well, I'd known about the, the San Marcos when I was a little kid because we, I see, I, I do have a memory of coming to Aqua Arena Springs as a, as a little boy. My parents took me here and, and, and you know, right here uh, where we're standing is where the underwater theater was with Aqua Arena Springs where they had the, the mermaid show and everything. And so I guess that was, that would have been sometime in the 60s, early 60s, which was the first time in my life outside of a swimming pool that I'd ever seen clear water. So I didn't know that such a thing existed. And I remember coming here and going in that, you know, that sunken theater that went under the water and, and, and seeing uh, for the first time uh, what, what, what passed for a natural environment and, and realizing that you could, it could be transparent, that you could actually see underwater. And that had a, a powerful effect on me as a kid. I was always, you know, I was always sort of trying to recapture that sensation of being able to see underwater. And uh, that's kind of what led me into diving and snorkeling and all sorts of stuff. And that ultimately led me back to the San Marcos, which uh, is not unique in Texas, but it is, you know, in many ways, the most gorgeous Texas river because of that spring fed clarity right here at, at you know, at, at, at Spring Lake. I mean, it, uh, all that stuff is gone. All, I mean, not all of it, but the, the underwater theater, and the whole, most of the tourist attractions, we have still have the glass bottom boat ride. And uh, I just remember coming back here as an adult on assignment for Texas Monthly and diving in, in, in the area where, where the underwater theater used to be and with the, these underwater archeologists and, and, you know, understanding that this in some way had been a tourist attraction for you know thousands of years. You know, people were drawn to this, uh, to this absolutely idyllic, Edenic environment. You know, naturally, uh, from the, probably from the first time people began, uh, you know, probing into the, this part of the of, of the North American continent, and so it's really just you know eternally beautiful and inspiring this place to me and you know it's uh, you know the the the, uh, the title of the Texas monthly article was the perfect river and you know you can make an argument that there are other perfect rivers but this one is so it's so clear it's so compact it's it's uh, it's just so beautiful all the way th through that uh, I think you know I, I would argue that that that, that title applies pretty well.